Hi everyone, my name's Jay. Welcome to another Pirate in Training video. Arr. Basically, um, this could be a quick video. It's just to share a bit of news. Normal, everyday, I say everyday. For me, normal, everyday hospital appointment with the podiatry team. It's had a quick word with uh, my consultant regarding what's going on. Uh, where we stand with my treatment and care and so on and so forth. And he mentioned that his boss, you know, because you work really hard to become a doctor and then you suddenly work even harder to try and become a mister again. The mister in this uh, um, professional relationship, who was quite anti me getting um, an amputation, actually took another look at everything and decided that 100% absolutely it's the best course of action. So I was kind of taken aback by that. And then he was like, oh, well, well, let me just go and have a word with somebody. Ten minutes later, I was speaking to a surgeon. A surgeon took a look at me, took a look at my foot, and was like, yeah, 100%. When, when do you want to do it? And I kind of, even more taken aback at this stage, when, well, as soon as possible. It's like, cool, give me five minutes. Five minutes later, comes back. What are you doing on the 3rd of uh, February? Now, my reaction may have tempted her to think, geez, maybe he doesn't want to have this done. But you have to understand... Two years I've been knocking at the door asking, this is the best course of action. This is what is needed. Last year, when I was seriously, seriously ill, and was told 90% chance foot's coming off, and then because of the way I reacted to antibiotics, was told, nope, we're going to save the leg. And they said, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's actually going to happen. February the, seems to be when it will be happening. Now, it, obviously, there are certain things that I have to do in order to make sure that that happens. And one of them is obviously making sure that I'm in as good a state as I can be with regards to my blood sugars, uh, my health in general, obviously they have to check things out like kidneys and heart. But yeah, it's it's actually happening. Um, it's such a mixed bag of emotions. It was the kind of initial dump and release because obviously I've been battling for this for quite some time. There's the happiness that this is actually going to be the best thing for me. Best thing for my family. Best thing for my friends. Best thing for anybody that has anything to do with my kind of life. Um, sadness has come to this. That I didn't heed the warning signs. That I didn't take things seriously. That I was as pig-headed and stubborn about things. That I put family and money above my own health, happiness, pain level. <sighs> Worry, because obviously no surgery is without risk. Like I said in the previous video, I'm risking my life to save my life. Humble, hum, hum, totally humbled, simply because of the people, the podiatrists, the doctors, nurses that actually saw how passionate I was and saw that this is what was needed. Granted, there are others that didn't, but you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough for anybody that works in the health service. Your ultimate goal is to save, not only save lives, but also to... Um, Eliminate risk. 
or alleviate risk. It's also in the case of diabetes is to save limbs. Not many would see the removal of a limb as a victory. It's ticks and crosses at the end of the day. It's all about subjectivity of people looking from the outside in. From the outside in, they'll go, oh, well, they've amputated so many limbs. That's a bad thing because that means it's failed. But your cross is the tick for the person involved because it gives them that second chance at life. It gives them that second chance of mobility. It stops them from having to live an existence with something that holds them back in a way that no one can understand unless you actually live it yourself. So, I wanted to kind of show you <clears throat> this guy. Because it's one of the last times anybody's going to see it attached to me. Anyway. Oh, FYI, I did ask if I could keep it. I was told no. Apparently it belongs to the NHS as, as, long as, as soon as it's removed from me. I did have kind of ideas of having it pickled in a jar on the mantelpiece or have being able to freeze dry it and throw darts at it every time I got annoyed. But apparently not. But I can't be too angry at that. Anyway, so that's what's happening. Things are getting real. I'll see you next time.